Hello, this is an overview of Urban Vault. Now the first thing you'll notice when you open Urban Vault is that there's two sections. You have the construction kits, which feature loops, riffs, and one-shot samples. And then you have the multi-instruments, which are broken down in their instrument categories. So let's take a look at a multi-instrument first. Now we'll just start over here with the pitch. You can hit this trigger button, and that'll change the pitch all the way from a rising effect. And you can change that amount to drastically affect it all the way to a drop effect. You can also hit this 2x button, which will change the amount from one octave to two octaves. Okay, next we have the effects right here, uh, where you can toggle between chorus, flanger, and phaser, and then change the amount of the effect up here with this knob. Stutter is a cool gate effect. You can hit the toggle button, and then it will... Again, like a gate effect. You can change the amount of the stutter through the knob. Moving over here, we have the global section, which offers global panning, tuning for pitch, glide, which is a portamento, and a toggle button for poly and mono, and then global volume. Below that, we have the effects section, which offers low pass filter, high pass filter, EQ, compressor, reverb, delay, distortion, and ADSR. Now, if you notice below each parameter, there's a button to where you can edit all of those functions. So say the compressor right here, if we want to edit that, make it a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, open up the threshold a little bit and adjust the attack, the release, and bring up the output a little bit. There we go. All of the parameters for a compression are right there for you. Same with everything else. You want to adjust the reverb a little bit, the size of the room, the time. All of that is adjustable in the effects section. Now the last thing I'm going to show you in the multi-instruments is chord assign. This is a great feature for people like me who maybe know how to play a chord, but I'm not that great at chord progressions. So what I can do is, let's say I want to put a chord on this pad right here. So I'll select that pad. I'll hit chord assign, I'll play a chord, uh, let's do say E minor, and then hit chord assign again to turn it off. Now what that does is it put that E minor chord on that pad for me. So let's say I want to do it again, uh, we'll just hit another pad, hit chord assign, let's do say maybe like an F sharp, we'll hit chord assign again, and then that pad has F sharp on it. One more time. We'll hit a new pad, chord assign, let's do a uh, G, chord assign again, and now you have G there. So you can play a uh, full chord progression now. And play chords very fast and easy. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a construction kit. Now construction kits are made up of loops, riffs, and one-shot samples. Each construction kit will have a main mix, which has all of the elements to make up a full song, and then all of those elements will be broken down individually, from the drum one-shots to the instrument loops, riffs, everything like that. So, the first thing you'll notice about the construction kit is that it has the name, a kit number, a tempo, and a key. So this kit is 92 BPMs, so we'll go ahead and change the master tempo in the UVI workstation to 92. And the first thing we'll do is we'll listen to the main mix. Okay, so that's the main mix, and now every single individual element is broken down from the drums to the instrument loops, and then each loop is broken down into riffs. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is Urban Vault's unique ability to do drastic time stretching. So again, the BPM or tempo of this particular kit is at 92. Let's go ahead and change that back to 120 and listen to it really fast. 
Same thing if you want to change the tempo drastically slow. So again, those are drastic tempo changes, both faster and slower. And as you can see, there's virtually no unwanted artifacts or noises. So I'll go ahead and change our tempo back to 92. And let's look at some more of the features, like key mode, for example. What that does is it'll take one pad and it'll stretch it all the way across the keyboard. So let's say I have this pad selected with key mode. <laughs> So you could do that with any pad. MIDI is great for somebody who may not have a MIDI controller. So instead of using the MIDI controller to hit the keys, you can just hit the pads. No repeat right here is a great function, especially for producers of trap music, EDM, stuff like that. Um, so let's say I have a snare drum right here. I can use no repeat to do things like this. It'll repeat anything from eight bars all the way to a 128th triplet. So say if you're trying to do like that trap snare drum, something like that, you could do that with no repeat. Another great use for this is to use it to repeat your loops. So let's say I have my, uh, my main mix loop right here, and I want that to repeat, say, every four bars. So instead of just stopping at the end, it'll keep playing it. And another thing that I can do is use this feature called latch in conjunction with note repeat. What latch does is it allows me to hit a key and it'll keep playing it without me having to hold it down. So whenever I press the key, it'll keep playing that sample until I hit the key again to turn it off. So by using latch in conjunction with note repeat, um, again, I have it set to four bars. So what I can do is I could just hit the key and then it'll keep playing it and it'll keep looping that four bars until I decide to hit the key again to turn it off. So with uh, latch off, I hit it. And as soon as I let go of the key, it, the sample stops playing. So I can hit latch and now with note repeat on four bars, it'll just keep looping that four bars. All right, and then I hit the key again, and that turns it off. Input quantize is a great feature to keep you on time during your performances. The one-shot feature allows you to hit a key and have the sample play all the way through without having to hold the key down. So let's say you have a particular sample like this one right here. As soon as I let go of the key, it stops playing. But with one shot on, I could hit the key, and it plays all the way through. Now the last feature I'd like to go over in the construction kits is the replace sample function. So let's say I have a kick drum that I don't really like in a particular construction kit. All I'll need to do is click on the pad of that kick, come up to the sample name right here, click on that, and that'll bring me the category list of all the samples in all of the construction kits. So I'll just go over to the kicks category right here. Um, say we'll select one. You can hit play to preview. All right, so I like that one. So all I need to do is click load, and there we go. Hit the sample name again to go back to the main screen. And now the kick drum that I selected is in that spot. This is just a brief overview of Urban Vault. Thank you for watching.